Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be installing some games from GOG.com. So let's get started. Now, if you're planning to play games on Linux, the best place or should be the first place to check is GOG. Now, GOG doesn't require any like Steam installer or Epic installer or DRM checking. So a lot of the times when we're installing Windows games or any types of games that's competitive gaming or something like that, there will be some DRM checking, which that might actually get you banned from using the application if you're running it on Linux. A lot of times we don't know if it's going to happen or not. So you're at risk if you're going to be playing certain games from Linux through Steam or through Epic. Now, GOG promises not to have any of the DRMs and as well it has better support for Linux. A lot of the games on GOG are made for Linux. So you can just download that and install it without having to do any modification that you need on Wine or anything just to get the game going. I would highly recommend checking GOG.com first before you decide to buy the game on Steam or on Epic, just because you avoid all the headaches. So what I have here is obviously GOG. They actually have a lot of the old school games that I like to play, like Wing Commander, um, all that other stuff. And that's why I really like to use GOG as well as a lot of Linux game support. So if you were to actually go into the store and search for stuff, you could actually see what they have popular or just check off the Linux game and see what they have available for Linux. The most recent game that just caught my attention was Art of Rally. So I actually purchased this game and downloaded it. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to actually set it up. So over here, I have over my downloads. So I actually have my Art of Rally installed over here. Uh, I'm gonna pop over to, actually I might not need to. Let me see if I could do it without having to go into my terminal. I'm gonna go into properties of Art of um, Rally, go to permissions and allow it to be an executable. Hit okay. So now I could actually execute it. I'm gonna double click, execute, and there we go. Oh look, <laughs> it literally just worked. Okay, so I usually install it through the terminal and I don't even like decide to try it like this, but yeah, it works without even having to go into terminal. Uh, next, read the GOGN user agreement. Yes, accept it. Uh, this is where it's going to install to. Okay, I'm going to hit next. Create desktop start shortcut. Nah, I'll create the menu, but not the desktop. And then I'm just going to let this install. All right, guys, that was pretty simple. Now, keep in mind, if you followed my previous tutorials on installing uh, Epic or installing Steam or installing Lutris, um, I've been through many processes of installing Vulkan drivers, graphic drivers, and everything like that. So I'm not going to go through that. If you do, check out my previous videos on installing graphic drivers. But in most cases, um, yeah, you do need those. Now, I do have um, Auto Rally installed. It should have made a start menu uh, icon thing. So Art of Rally. And let me see. Yep, there you go, the icon. I shouldn't have a problem starting it. There we have it. The game started easy especially because the game supports linux as well as windows and mac os um, i don't think i would have a problem installing this now i do remember this game when i was playing it on my laptop that it does take a while for the first time to ever load i think it's unpacking shaders or something like that but for the first time it ever tries to load it does take a while there we go let's see how this game plays actually on this computer uh, I got to get to United States blood type. Oh, sure. Uh, full screen. I don't know why the resolution is so weird. It should actually be that. There we have it. Oh, looks so good on this. I'm glad that this game actually does not take that much resources to run. I have it playing on my Juno laptop as well as the little laptop that I got with my MX150 NVIDIA graphic card on there. It both seem to run perfectly fine running this game. Um, I'm not too sure of the controls on this because I play with controller, um, but I think I have to get through this intro. Come on, get me to the game. All right. There we have it. It is pretty cool. Uh, the controls are actually pretty good in this game. Um, on controller at least. On keyboard and mouse, you kind of need to like finagle it because you're either turning all the way or not. So you need to practice how long you should hold the keys for. But it's uh, it's pretty good. 
pretty forgiving as far as the controls go, but this game is actually really fun. I'm playing career mode right now, and I think I'm on like the third or fifth stage or something like that. And you get the top view, you don't get the interior view, it's just like close, uh, close up or far view from the top, third person. And you could do manual or automatic controls, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm not going to play this game too long because I want to check out another game that we're going to try to install. So let me just uh, quit to menu and I'll just quit this game. So next game I want to try getting working is Crisis. Crisis you could actually download from uh, GOG, but it's only a Windows game. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this. I have not done this yet on this computer, so I don't even know what to expect. I did open the terminal and I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger pop over to my downloads and I'm gonna go over to crisis I named the folder that way and there's one exe file and I do have wine installed again my previous tutorial shows you how to install wine but we're gonna be using wine and I shouldn't have a problem you should just run the installer and I don't think crisis is um, has many issues I should be able to just get this going without a problem all right the GOG installer is going Okay, there you go. I have read the Ula. Let this install. It is about like four gigs total, I think, um, of whatever I had to download. So the installation should take a little bit of time. Okay, I got a little runtime error, but it did create an icon for me on the desktop. So uh, launch, let's see. Is going to do it. Since it didn't start right away, I decided to go over to WineDB. And this is probably another good place to look it up for Crisis. And they, in the comments, it says to run it in the bin64 library with the DX9 flag. So what I ended up doing was heading over to this directory, which is Wine, Drive, GOG, Crisis, then the bin64 directory. And I'll do Wine, uh, Crisis 64 dash dx9 so it runs direct next nine i guess hit enter and let's see oh seems to have an error but i did read somewhere where you're supposed to let it crash first uh wine crisis and then wine oh okay so yeah this is what you do why didn't i read the instructions better wine crisis.exe semicolon and then run the wine crisis that way what it'll do is actually says could not launch main application hit ok and then it'll actually run the game there you go yeah instructions and there we have it guys crisis is running can i skip these i wonder if i could pop into a game really quick just to show you guys how it's running and i hope this answers the question can it run crisis and the answer is yes uh i guess new game because i don't have anything start game So that's it guys. I mean installing games off GOG if it's Linux based it's super easy. All you have to do is just run that sh file or the shell script and it'll do everything on its own. As far as like Windows games goes it really depends because they have a lot of the older games and those are the most of the games that I own which is like Privateer or Wing Commander and instead of using Wine on those things you would want to use DOSBox. So it all depends on what installer you're planning to use. Now if there's any particular games that you want to you want me to take a look at leave it down in the comments below uh, i did see the previous comment you guys were mentioning about installing gta 5 onto our linux machines that video will be coming out soon as well anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time